My name is Torsten Orgard. I'm a Danish photographer. I travel the world taking photographs and teaching photography. Today I will talk about traveling the world and teaching photography. So welcome back on Magic of Light. I just wanted to tell a little bit what's been going on. Um, I've been traveling a little bit and I had fun. One thing is I went to Chicago and I did a new thing because I kind of want to have people come out and enjoy the weather. So I did a coffee and like a freaks meet up in Chicago. And we were a good handful of people that met very early in the morning and we had some coffee and we chatted about photography and showed our cameras and uh, had fun with that. Also in Chicago I did a workshop in, around the Soho house in Chicago. We used that as a base, it's very unusual. Normally they don't allow photography or cameras in the building, but we did actually did a photo workshop in the Soho house. So first I did a three day uh, workshop. And the way I usually do workshop is that we walk around uh, the first day from early morning till late in the afternoon, well it's seven hours, and we just stop for coffee. And the whole idea is to just walk around slowly and see what do we want to photograph. So we walk as a group, but of course we work individually. And sometimes you look at the others, what are they doing? And they look at me, what I'm doing. And that's kind of <laughs> what we spend the day doing. Uh, we stop for lunch and we stop for coffee. And sometimes if somebody needs to shop something, buy an umbrella or boots or something like that, we'll do that also because that's also a photo opportunity. And one of the lessons from a day walking around is that you actually get to take a lot of photos and you see that even you don't feel inspired or maybe you don't know what to take photos of, it comes to you. Something triggers it, you see a nice building or you see some nice light or some interesting people or a dog or whatever, something is going to happen and it's, there's always like some interesting people or interesting things that shows up that we didn't expect. That's kind of like a guarantee, but you never know around which corner it's going to happen. So that's what we did and then the next day we were sitting in uh, the Soho house and I was talking about workflow and how to edit in Capture One and Lightroom and how to store your pictures, how to back them up, how to share them, how to use them and keyword them and all this. Uh, so that's what we did the next day. We spent the day indoor, had some nice food, good coffee uh, and we got to relax our legs after a day of walking. And on the third day of the workshop, it's kind of the same program for a workshop is kind of like different people, different locations. So it's always a little bit different, but the program is the same. So on the third day, uh, we went out in the morning to look for magic of light for portraits. And we found some, and the trick of it is that it's just around the corner. You don't have to walk far to find good light for a portrait. So we did a few different locations, and then we went back, had lunch, and edited those photos. And then before we ended the workshop, we shared all the photographs. So that was the three-day workshop. And just to celebrate uh, the good weather in Chicago, it was unusual good weather in September in Chicago. Well, it's actually beginning of October. Unusual good weather. Uh, I did a two-day uh, portrait workshop. So again, we went out and we did different locations with ourselves and different people and found magic of light and did some great portraits that we can use on LinkedIn. And then I went back to Florida where I have a house now. And just for the fun of it, I did a uh, walkabout, a free walkabout in Clearwater and Tampa, Florida. Uh, so it was like a handful of people, like seven, eight people. So we walked for a few hours and then we had lunch and we had uh, fun with that. Uh, one of the guys, uh, book publisher, sent me an email later and said, here's the pictures from the day. This is the most normal thing I've done in months. Uh, and I believe him. That was really fun. Of course, the weather is always great humid and hot in Florida and there's always sunshine so it's kind of easy to be outside and take photos. Then I went to uh, Denmark to visit my mommy uh, and handle some other things and one of the great things about Europe right now is that it's autumn colors. You don't see that in Florida uh, and if you stay indoor you definitely don't see it but that's actually one of the things in UK, Europe like Denmark, Germany uh, the Netherlands, that you have autumn colors. The leaves falls off the trees. Uh, that's something you don't see in Florida because in Florida the leaf stays on the trees and then in the spring new leaves come out and push the old ones. So they kind of never leave. In uh, Europe you have the autumn colors, all the trees change color. 
the leaf starts to blow off. You can see the colors here in the background. That's kind of it. Uh, and you still have, it's, it's getting colder, but you still have sunshine. So I went to Denmark and I went up early and I went out late and in the rain and everywhere and in the dark and the sunshine and took some photos. And that was really uh, interesting for me because I hadn't been back in Denmark for one and a half year. Then I went to Hamburg and I did some more photos and was meeting up with some friends there and had uh, coffee and lunch and breakfast and stuff. And then I went to uh, Leica in Wetzlar to just, you could say, have a secret meeting. Not much happened there. I mean, it's still like the factory is running. A lot of people work from home, but it's kind of like normal, except it's not totally normal, but it, it worked. And then I decided, okay, let me just go to Berlin. So I went to Berlin. Uh, and I visited the Meister uh, camera store, that's a very old store from 1923, that have three stores in Germany. I actually visited the one in Hamburg first, when I was in Hamburg. I visited Martin Meister in his uh, Meister camera, his new store in Hamburg. And it's a beautiful store, they have a lot of secondhand, uh, they sell on eBay and also in the store. And it's a new thing, they have a Leica store and they have Hasselblad and other stuff and Nikon secondhand and everything in the same store. And of course they have coffee and they have tables you can sit and talk about workflow and stuff like that. So when I came to Berlin, I visited the store there also, that's like a good old store, I knew it from before. I think I bought my Leica Q there, I said hello to them and I decided, okay, let me just do uh, a walkabout in Berlin. So I sent out an email and uh, on Friday and then Saturday we met like eight, nine people in front of the Leica store and then we walked around for a few hours photographing, uh, drinking coffee and talking and of course the sun came out and uh, that was a great day. So that's kind of what I've been up to and that's why I haven't done a lot of uh, reviews. I'm, I'm traveling, I have uh, a few cameras with me and I am planning stuff, I'm writing uh, books and materials as I go along and articles so you'll see more later and I'm also doing my uh, my workflow masterclass every week I post new videos for that one for the people who have signed up for that uh, you can go to my website and sign up for it if you want to and then you will get in in the loop on workflow I get around to a lot of uh, very interesting things that's all uh, I think I want to say in this video, if you want to follow what I'm doing, go to the link below the video, sign up for my mailing list and you get a free ebook uh, immediately. And of course, you're always welcome to go to my website. There's my email on my website. If you want to send me an email, ask about something, have suggestions, anything, send me an email. I always answer my emails. It might take a little while, but I always answer. That's all I had to say. Thank you for watching.